Davis. Reports suggest that the incident occurred at a well-known nightclub in Miami. Both Stevenson and Davis were in attendance, and tensions between their groups had been building throughout the evening. What started as a verbal disagreement soon turned into a physical altercation to zero with 28 knockouts and holding the WVA title and Stevenson with a 21-0 record and 10 knockouts as the reigning WBC champion. The more Stevenson considers the prospect of facing Davis, the more he envisions the potential impact Tank could have on his career, similar to how Errol Spence Jr. elevated Terence Crawford's stature. Spence and Crawford had engaged in prolonged verbal jousting and stalled negotiations until their clash last July, where Crawford secured a stunning ninth-round TKO, silencing doubters and solidifying his legacy. Stevenson believes that a bout with Davis would elevate his personal renown and cement his status as a top-tier boxer. He aims to be remembered among the greats and included in everyone's top five, drawing parallels with Crawford, whom he considers one of the best boxers who needed the right opportunity to showcase his true greatness. Stevenson also pointed to Errol. Like his situation, I feel like he been one of the best, been one of the greatest boxers to do it, but he just had the opportunity and needed the opportunity to show it. And I think with uh, Errol Spence, he was the right guy to be there to show how great he truly was. And I think with me. Stevenson didn't shy away from naming the ideal opponent when asked. He emphasized that for him it's all about finding the right fight and the right opponent. Specifically, he highlighted that a bout against Tank Davis would be perfect, noting that many doubt his ability to win, a challenge that fuels his motivation. Both Stevenson and Davis have expressed a strong desire to face each other in the ring. All it takes is the right fight and the right person. What do you think that fight's gonna be for you at 135? Tank. Tank. I think me and Tank is the uh, fight. And I think everybody think that I can't do it, so I love that part about it. Shakur Stevenson is fully focused on delivering a captivating performance in his hometown of Newark, New Jersey this upcoming weekend against Artem Rutunian. Despite his commitment to this bout, Stevenson isn't shy about sharing his thoughts on Gervonta Davis and Vasily Lomachenko. When asked about Davis criticizing his boxing style recently, the WBC champion didn't hold back. Stevenson dismissed Davis' comments, suggesting they stem from fear of facing someone with strong defensive skills, indicating Davis may be afraid of losing. He emphasized his current priority is Arnon Harutunian and preparing for that challenge. Turning to Vasily Lomachenko, Stevenson placed him in the same category, implying Lomachenko appears hesitant to face him. He playfully dubbed Lomachenko as Tovchenko until he agrees to step into the ring with him. Despite never having fought either of these stars, Stevenson sees them as potential opponents who could further elevate his status in the boxing world. In the 135-pound weight class, Shakur Stevenson stands out prominently as the WBC champion, making him a sought-after contender for title unification bouts. His ambition to be remembered among the greats in boxing drives his desire for significant fights. He sees a potential showdown with Gervonta Davis as a pivotal moment akin to what Terence Crawford experienced against Errol Spence Jiro, which solidified Crawford's legacy. Stevenson's path forward includes navigating negotiations and potential matchups that could define his career as he continues to rise in the sport. Gun to your head, when are we going to see the, the Shakur Tanks, the Shakur Devin, the yeah. Devin Tanks? There's only one fight that is really... The one? That, like, if we were like going to be for real yeah, about yeah, it, yeah. Like, keep it on. What's like, the fight? I, my opinion, yeah, because we talking about like skill and like boxing, like all around mm -hmm. boxing, right? Yeah. Because we ain't talking about somebody that just got a good jab or what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We talking about like all around. You can do everything. Yeah, boxing. Yeah. Me and Tank the, yeah, the biggest that's fight. The, that's the one. It's After securing another successful title defense, Gervonta Davis finds himself back in the spotlight. Recently, Shakur Stevenson engaged in a detailed conversation with esteemed boxing journalist Kevin Owl, covering various topics including Davis's notable comments following his bout with Frank Martin in 2007. Davis, honored with the NAT for award as the WBC lightweight champion, provided exclusive insights into his upcoming title defense preparations during the interview. At the post-fight conference of his recent match, when asked about a potential matchup with Stevenson, Davis responded confidently, stating that everyone in the room knew how such a fight would unfold. Later, he acknowledged that a bout between them would be beneficial for the sport. Kevin Owl started with high praise for Shakur Stevenson, considering him a top contender in the pound-for-pound -pound rankings. 
Despite this acclaim, Owl was keen to hear Stevenson's reaction to recent remarks by Gervonta Davis, clarifying that Davis himself made the statement, not Owl or any other boxing observer. Stevenson suggested that Davis's comments might have been casual, emphasizing the importance of honesty and urging observers to delve deeper before forming judgments. He hinted that Davis's remarks might stem from a lack of profound boxing knowledge rather than a low boxing IQ. Davis was the one that said it. It wasn't me as a boxing writer or some other fan or other boxing writer. So that's one of your peers. Uh, do you think Gervonta... Oh, no, no, he's a casual though. Like, Tank is a casual. You gotta be honest, like, um... When we like look at him and, and really understand, like he's a, you could be a special boxer, but don't really have like the IQ and the, I, I ain't gonna say IQ, but like the, 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 the boxing knowledge. As I say, I say. Before the fight began, Gervonta Davis, drawing from his experience with both fighters, confidently predicted Rolando Romero's victory over Isaac Cruz in their upcoming bout. Davis, having faced them before, believed Romero's superior strength would give him the upper hand, forecasting a knockout win for Romero over Pitbull Cruz. Shakur Stevenson, however, emphasized that these perspectives should be seen as informal beliefs. He described Davis's prediction as a casual opinion and pointed out that any seasoned boxing enthusiast would understand that Isaac Cruz wouldn't allow Rolando Romero to win so easily. Stevenson added that such insights are typical in casual conversations among boxing fans and analysts. Pressure and standing right in front of you, not moving out of the way of the power, he's going right to it. Stylistically, it, it, it's a no-brainer fight. Like, it's a no-brainer. Like, if you know boxing, you know Pitbull was going to do that to Rose. Like, it wasn't a, 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 a trick question. It wasn't a hard-to-pick-em fight. But I'm just like explaining to you like the casual and like the gotcha. Javante Davis brain. Um, good fighter, but he's a casual. So uh, yeah, of course he's gonna say what the casual say. He reads the, the tweets and listens to the uh, casual fans and. Um, Shakur Stevenson appears set for a decisive victory against Arnim Borutunian. As attention shifts from this bout, speculation intensifies around his next challenger. Rumors abound about a potential matchup between Gervonta Davis and Vasily Lomachenko. Should Davis emerge victorious, he might aim for Stevenson's prestigious WDC title. However, the looming question remains, does Davis have the skills and experience to face such a seasoned and skilled opponent? My brain, how I look at him, like he's a talented, special fighter who got like God-given abilities. But like, as far as like, like boxing knowledge and all of that, like, I watched him, uh, he fought, let's say, let, this, this, how, this how I can put it, right? He fought um, Roly Romero and he fought Isaac Pick for Cruz. Before the fight, when they was fighting each other, he picked Roly Romero to win because of his power. But, and that's what he basically said, like, Roly, right. uh, he's gonna knock him out his power because he's saying, like, Roly was stronger. But that, that's a casual opinion. I didn't really think about Attention was adding pressure. Stevenson responded that he's taking things step by step, focusing squarely on July 6. He acknowledged that promoter support hinges on his performance. When asked if Harutumian's close loss to Martin last year made him more dangerous, Stevenson affirmed it did. He recognized the tight nature of Harutumian's fight with Martin, suggesting it could have gone either way had Harutumian not fatigued in the final round. Despite Stevenson's superior record and favorite status for the upcoming match, the Newark native respects Harutunian's skills and views him as a formidable opponent. Uh, uh, Artem won the fight, so uh, honestly, from what I watch, uh, I think that he's a good fighter, uh, definitely dangerous. Uh, I see him now he's training at Top Man Gym in Las Vegas, so he's putting himself in the type of environment to uh, come in there at him. Before the fight, Gervonta Davis confidently predicted Rolando Romero's victory over Isaac Cruz, drawing from his experience with both fighters. Davis believed Romero's superior strength would secure him a knockout win over Pitbull Cruz. In response, Shakur Stevenson acknowledged these perspectives as informal beliefs, noting their typical in casual boxing conversations. He emphasized that any seasoned boxing enthusiast would recognize Isaac Cruz's resilience, suggesting Romero wouldn't easily handle him. Gonna be your hardest fight? Hell no. No? <laughs> no? Why? Cause he a good boxer, nigga. Like that's when I look at y'all two as the best in the division. 
How? Show me something that he did spectacular. Show me something that he did outrageous. Show me. <laughs> All right. His power not outrageous. Okay. His, what defense? It, oh, you think he got defense? He, he just jumping. You never see him slip no punch. You never, mm. you never see him slip no punch. Mm. Go look at it. You see him back up from a lot of people. Back yeah. up, move around, move around. He don't got no technique. And his offense is the same thing. Mm. If you go look at his fights. So you I'm feel probably like pin him on games <laughs> by the time. Watch it. Yeah, Hold on, but, but you feel like it's easy work, though. You like. Come on, bro. Yeah. Bro, I, I touched him with six ounce, uh, 16 ounce gloves on. Mm. And he ran. Imagine if I hit him, what, eight hours. The guy is here. Shakur Stevenson took offense to these comments and responded on his social media account, asserting that Davis would face a harsh reality come fight night. Amidst frequent exchanges over months, experts speculate that these provocations could lead to a showdown. This bout presents Stevenson with an opportunity to demonstrate his determination against one of the world's top pound for pound fighters. The upcoming clash between Davis and Stevenson is highly anticipated in boxing circles especially after the recent fiery exchanges on social media. However, significant fights often face delays as promoters aim for maximum commercial impact, potentially postponing the peak of their rivalry. Despite the verbal sparing, Shakur is urging Gervonta Davis to stop avoiding him and accept the challenge. He clarified that his concern isn't with Davis's former promoter Floyd Mayweather, but rather with Davis himself. Shakur encouraged Davis to focus on facing him in the ring, emphasizing his active campaign on social media and expressing his wariness with continued discussions. He pressed Davis to stop dodging the fight and agree to make it a reality. Hey man, look man, your beef is not with Floyd Mayweather. You see here beefing with Floyd, it's a fighter out here that's been calling your name that want to fight you. Javante Tank Davis, let's make the fight happen, man. I'm tired of tweeting, I'm tired of talking about it. Stop ducking me and let's make the fight happen, man. Come on. Fans are growing increasingly frustrated with the prolonged delay in the Tank vs. Shakur showdown. The holdup appears to originate from Gervonta Davis, who seems hesitant to face Shakur or any other significant challenger. Stevenson's persistent efforts to secure a bout with Baltimore's Davis underscore his unwavering determination, rather than a shift in strategy. This persistence also highlights the scarcity of top-tier pay-per-view contenders in the lightweight division. With Devin Haney and Ryan Garcia moving up to 140 olds, Shakur finds himself with few compelling PPV opponents aside from Davis. Gervonta, known for his methodical career approach, spanning 11 years, shows no sign of deviating from his management's cautious matchmaking tactics. Davis often garners fan excitement with fights against perceived lesser opponents, occasionally positioning fighters like Shakur as pawns to generate interest. Formerly guided by Floyd Mayweather in his early career stages until their amicable split in 2022, Davis now faces public disputes with Mayweather over social media. Mayweather emphasizes Davis's potent punching power compared to Shakur Stevenson's exceptional skill set, positioning Stevenson as the most talented fighter in the 135 pounds category. The two guys, the two guys, well, the biggest puncher, I feel, at, at the 135 would probably be Javante Tank Davis. Mm -hmm. But the most skillful fighter, skillful fighter at 135 would be hands down Shakur Stevens. And what is what is it about him? Because um I know he I know he have a lot of good um attributes, but do you think he has enough power to sustain? Uh, well, it's, all, it's really all about skills. Pernell Whitaker wasn't a huge puncher, but he mm -hmm. was, I mean, very exciting, um, very tough, and he fought everybody. And Shakur is trying to do the same thing. He want to fight the best they got out there. Um, he's asking, um, can... Floyd openly stated his intention to recruit the three-weight world champion to advance his own career. He mentioned that Stevenson's current contract might be nearing its end and expressed optimism about a potential partnership. Floyd emphasized his goal to elevate Stevenson's career to new levels and secure the high-profile fights that Stevenson desires. I believe his contract is coming to an end, so hopefully um, we can come together and I can take him to that next level and give him and give him the fights that he need that he wants. Leonard Eller, the former CEO of Mayweather Promotions has stirred the boxing world with his latest remarks hinting at a potential showdown between Tank Davis and Shumper Stevenson. 
Known for his candid commentary and deep understanding of the sport, Ellard's statements have sparked intense speculation and anticipation among fans and analysts alike. Both fighters boast impressive records and have garnered widespread attention for their skills in the ring. Davis is celebrated for his devastating knockout power and dynamic fighting style, while Stevenson is acclaimed for his meticulous technique and strategic finesse. Their clash of styles promises riveting drama and fierce competition, making it a highly anticipated event in boxing circles. And he's gonna get every one of these guys, these guys who y'all say are the top guys. Trust me, trust me, Shakur's gonna get that work. He asking for it, he gonna get that work. But it ain't what he think it is. It ain't what he think it is. I can't wait for it to happen. Ellard's remarks suggest a strong confidence in Davis's ability to meet Stevenson's challenge head-on, emphasizing that Stevenson may be underestimating the significance of the matchup. This observation underscores Davis's well-known confidence and careful strategic approach to his fights. He could be fighting someone like a Devin Haney or a Shakur, uh, a Lomachenko next. Do you see that kind of a fight happening for Tank? All these guys, all these guys, who you guys, who you guys say are the top guys out there, Tank gonna get every one of these guys. He just can't fight them all in one night. He done already got Ryan Garcia out the way. Next is Frank Martin on the- Sellers' remarks have sparked lively discussions on the possible outcomes and repercussions of a Davis versus Stevenson match inside the boxing circle. Both fans and shout-out analysts are analyzing the fighter's skills, flaws, and potential career ramifications as they analyze what this fight might mean for their futures. When asked about his ongoing motivation in boxing, the New Jersey native humbly replied, Yeah, I thought about it, and it's amazing but lately I've been trying to keep myself motivated and focused and try to tell myself I haven't done anything when it comes to boxing. Shakur emerges as a standout among young talents in the sport, drawing inspiration from Floyd Mayweather's legacy to drive his ambitions forward. Stevenson, on the other hand, has always been surrounded by exceptional boxers who are praised for their abilities. During his most recent fight against Edwin de Los Santos, notable figures like Floyd Mayweather after being jumped by Tank. While we are unable to verify the veracity of these reports at this time, they paint a fairly intense picture of the fight. Davis is known for his aggressive style, confronted Stevenson both inside and outside of the ring over a perceived slight. The situation quickly worsened, allegedly resulting in Davis attacking Stevenson. According to footage from the nightclub, Davis allegedly throws the first punch, and Stevenson tries to defend himself before being overpowered by Davis and his entourage. Before club security could step in, Stevenson had already taken multiple strikes. After paramedics were dispatched, Stevenson was taken to a neighboring hospital without delay. In the boxing world, the event has garnered a lot of attention and criticism. If you like this video, be sure to check out some of our others that are playing on the screen.